Welcome back to the Wilderness Off-Road channel. Now today we're going to be doing a bit of an upgrade on the Outback. Uh, we're upgrading the roof rack system. I'm changing it around quite a bit. Uh, for those who follow me uh, currently, you know I run a Yakima Load Warrior with the extension. I have my Rome awning attached to that along with a case and a light bar. Now that is moving on and I will continue to run the awning, but I will be getting some new accessories uh, here in the future. And to support that, I needed a bit of an upgrade here. So these are the 2015 to 2019 Super Outback um, crossbar system from ADF, Anderson Design and Fabrication. Uh, I purchased these um, not long ago and I was surprised they arrived within just a couple days. And so I'm excited to get this unboxed and show you guys the install. Now, before doing that, I do wanna mention these are about 46 inches long and two and a half inches wide. So you do gain a bit of real estate. The stock um, <clears throat> dynamic range or weight limit on the Outbacks is about 150 pounds per bar and these increase to about 300 pounds per bar. Now for static weight, Subaru says about 650 to 750 pounds, but um, ADF didn't really have a limit on that. They didn't really have the means to really test that out. So it's at least 750 pounds, if not uh, quite a bit more. So. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, you know, most people go with the, oh, static weight, you know, 700 pounds, you'll be fine carrying, you know, pretty much any tent, but you wanna make sure your dynamic weight limit is under that tent limit, uh, weight limit. So a lot of people, you know, may or may not know that and sometimes get the wrong information online and their tents, will rip the crossbars or the stock crossbars off their roof. <laughs> now these, I went with ADF because I think they're quite a bit more affordable than some other options out there. Plus it's a lot more uh, lower profile than like a Thule, which adds quite a bit of height. And I wanna keep um, the upcoming accessories as low to the roof as I can. So I went with these and in the unboxing you'll see that they're very universal with mounting locations for other accessories. And um, yeah, so let's hop in the unboxing. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and to stay up to date, please subscribe and like and um, turn on those notifications so that you can get notified when a new video comes out. So let's get into the unboxing here on the install and uh, we'll go from there. All right, hopping right into the in Unboxing here. Some hardware. Bar number one. And bar number two. Pretty simple, not much to it. Um, I'll give you a closer shot of these mounting points here and uh, we'll get it installed. All right, so for just a closer look here. So all along the crossbar itself, you have plenty of mounting holes up on the top and on both sides. And that goes the full length of the bar. Now, these last holes are for the mounting hardware, 
which is right in this bag. And we'll take a look at that. All right, so here's the mounting uh, brackets. And right here I noticed we did not get the um, little L brackets that the bars actually mount on top of. Uh, we got all the bolts here, bolts and nuts, but not those other brackets. So I'm gonna have to contact ADF here and get those in as soon as I can. And then we will continue installing these on the Outback. All right, guys, so I contacted Patrick Anderson um, about the missing brackets. And uh, the best part about him being such a small company, uh, he worked with me right away, had these brackets, brackets sent out pretty much the next day. And so now it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to get out and get this installed. But the brackets are here, the missing parts that we needed. And now we can get straight to the install on the Outback. And this should be pretty quick. So let's get this installed. And then what these brackets are laying on right here is the next little upgrade. People on my Instagram probably already know what this is, but if you don't, um, this will be also a upcoming video. So pay attention, subscribe, and put those notifications on so you can um, make sure you watch this sweet one. So anyways, let's get right to it. All right, to start, we will unlatch these roof bars that come with the Subaru. Um, and then right here, these tie down straps are where you're gonna be mounting the new uh, bracket. Oop, that was backwards. Um, Patrick told me that the larger um, part of this S bracket is the part that mounts to the car. So we'll get this unmounted here, mount this up, and then that'll allow the new crossbar to be mounted on these holes right there. And the other one is on that side. So one other thing I recently found out is on these Outbacks, of course you have the um, stock crossbar, but if you want to widen these crossbars, you can actually mount them in this hole, which makes total sense. I had no idea that was a thing. Uh, apparently there is a special uh, S or star shaped um, wrench near the spare tire and tool kit. So you grab that and unbolt the crossbar here and mount it in this location. If you wanted a wider, um, I guess, crossbar width to carry larger items. So anyways, let's t get to unbolting these and mounting the new S brackets so we can get the uh, install finished. If you guys are curious, here's the tool. Uh, I had no idea that I had it and it was right where I read, um, right where the spare tire is. So this is what you use to relocate your bars and undo these bad boys. So if your car is new or the tools haven't been used in that rear area, you probably have this as well. All right, so installing the brackets is as simple as taking the tie off point off. He includes hardware and that simply just goes into the stock locations um, and tightens down. So he does include all the hardware that you need. Um, the only one thing that I am a little bit confused about is uh, he does include 16 flang, flang nuts, um, but we obviously aren't using the two nuts on every bottom part of the mount. So I guess maybe just extras. Um, not really sure because these are just going right into the stock threads and um, 
yeah so if there's a lot of noise in this video background noise sorry guys i'm uh, in a busier area doing this install so don't mind that but anyways uh, you do have all the hardware we will use the nuts on the top mounting locations but uh, anyways so i guess you do get a extra there um, he does have a little wrench which i'll grab to tighten these down and uh yeah it's a really easy quick install so pretty straightforward all right there you go um just cranked it down this is a 13 mil uh, wrench there socket wrench and uh yeah so it's on there tight right in the stock location super straightforward guys um so i'm gonna finish the rest of the four corners i'm gonna get these two uh crossbars off and then we will finish off by installing the new crossbars right on top super easy guys all right guys here are the crossbars installed they were super super easy and uh they're really low profile they look really great i think this is a way better upgrade than like the yakima or Thule. the tulis and yakima just add so much height and i didn't want the height at all so these are sturdy for the uh, big upgrade coming. So now I left these little posts in where the um, last crossbars were. Um, that's not really necessary. You could get a plug like that to put in there, but I just don't have that. So I just put the screws there. Um, so anyways, I think this is a great purchase, you guys. Uh, I have quite a few other things from ADF and the quality so far has been really really great um, and you know these things are now ready to really put some work in I'm going to also try to put my awning on here as well you guys know what I run there and uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think I think um, these are a great upgrade all right guys, so that was the install of the ADF crossbars uh, for the fifth generation Outbacks. Super easy, super straightforward. Adds a ton of weight capacity to your roof for um, some of those heavier accessories, you know, like tents, uh, other luggage, um, carriers, uh, any other accessories that you guys wish. So I think it's a really great upgrade. I uh, really, really like the low profile of it and uh i think for the price point it's just perfect so unfortunately you know i had that little setback of having uh parts non delivered the first time but that is totally okay patrick made up for it um i think he has a great company so um, i wasn't in too big of a rush now if i was installing it this weekend and didn't have the parts i would be pretty bummed but anyways uh thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think of the bars, ask me questions, and uh, you know, you'll probably see uh, the bars in the future videos, and I'll let you guys know how I'm liking it at those times. And uh, yeah, so please subscribe, put those uh, notifications on, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so thank you again for watching.